So I'll put this all together um, for the video, but that was 3.30. Let's see if you can see that. Yeah, so that was 3.30 to shoot those standing still. Uh, right before this, I shot them moving in 3.35. So if I can find it, the timer has both of those runs. Okay, cool. So here are the last three runs that I ran. So let's go all the way to the end here. All right, so the top two are the ones we're interested in. 335 right there on the bottom, okay? That is, or the middle one right there, the middle one and the top one are the two we're gonna talk about. So the top one is the one I just shot that y'all just looked at where I was standing still and shot those plates. And then the bottom one that ended up being a grand total of 335 was where I did those plates moving. All right, so let's go back to the beginning. All right, so we were standing still. It was 146 to the first shot. S moving took me 1.58 to fire the first shot. Um, then continuing on, uh, there was only like a difference of seven tenths of a second between um, the first and second shot. Same thing, about seven tenths of a second. Uh, moving versus standing still on the third shot. And I'm not gonna know if math there. So yeah, somewhere around uh, seven tenths of a second difference there and five tenths of a second grand total. So um, shooting on the move is pretty good gig, man. If, um, you know, it requires focus, but standing still and shooting those plates, you know, we're starting 15 yards away, moving up to as close as we're getting is 12 yards away. So standing still and shooting those plates requires mental focus. Um, and solid fundamentals. Um, shooting them while moving still requires mental focus and solid fundamentals. It just brings in, you know, allows your body to use all of its tools to stabilize the gun um, so that you can keep seeing the things you need to see. But pretty interesting. Um, fairly difficult target array, shot standing still or moving about the same amount of time to get the shooting done, but um, here, let's walk out here and see how much how much ground we've covered while we're doing it. So it's five yards. Let me, let me cruise back in here and uh, talk with you on that. So that's five yards. You know, still took three took either three point three zero seconds to do the shooting standing still. And then you would have to cover five yards if you needed to, to go down there. And, you know, in the practical applications of shooting, you do need to move. Um, there, there's plenty of times where you need to be at a point B, and there's some stuff that you could do while you're getting from point A to point B, right? So this is a, a great, um, you know, great demonstration of why we should shoot on the move and why we should spend time, invest time, in getting better at it and more comfortable at it, right? So, um you know, if we were looking at, you know, for shooting USPSA, you get 10 points for every one of those plates, okay? Every hit on that plate or one of those plates count gives you 10 points. And 3.30, we got 10 points standing still. And 3.35, we got 10 points and we covered five yards, which could have put us in a place where we'd need to be to do some other shooting. So it would be more efficient. Um, interesting. So definitely something I'd recommend you do on your own. Go out, you know, set up a target array, um, do it standing still, and then do it while moving. I think you'll find very similar times, and it definitely can be very similar times. And then also factor, you know, that you're moving to get you closer to other shooting you have to do, and that's where you can make real time, you know, especially in USPSA, uh, you can make real time by covering ground. Um, if we were to run five yards, um, actually, I, I just recently did some uh, tests on this, you know, takes me somewhere around two and a quarter seconds to move, to go from having shot to cover ground and shoot again um, in five yards. Okay, and I also, um, also did that same test, you know, uh, with one of the best shooters in the world and it was about the same amount of time. About, he was at about 2.18. So, um, I was kind of rationalized that out with uh, the numbers we just threw out there at you. So, you know, 
we could stand still and shoot, you know, for 3.3 seconds, get the shooting done, and then take another two seconds plus to get to the other place to shoot. So let's, or in 3.35 seconds, we could do the shooting while we're getting to the other place that we needed to be, and boom, we just saved ourselves two seconds, or we just gained two seconds over somebody that stood still and shot and then ran and shot. I know sometimes we think, um, Maybe you know, it rationalizes out in our head that, you know, running somewhere equals fast. You know, can you run five yards faster than you can walk five yards? Yeah, maybe not significantly, but um, we're doing shooting. You know, we're moving with shooting in mind and it's scoring points. Ultimately, that matters. If we can score points while we're walking, we don't have to run. There you go, man. You get zero points if the gun's not shooting. So there's a, a bunch of thoughts to throw at you, some stuff to, to, for you to uh, digest on and, and chew on, see what you think about it and train it. I'd recommend it.